Fenolio makes some beautiful cowboy boots right here in the USA. And today, I have the Black Victoria Rough Out with a cutter toe to feature in this extended test review. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If this is your first time through, please subscribe. This type of video is the usual here, and I would love to see you back every week. Today I have a Fenolio boot. This is made in the USA. I met with Fenolio at the Western and English Sales Association trade show, and they were kind enough to send me this boot for the purposes of this review. And I know so many of you out there have been requesting a video on Fenolio, and I'm so excited because they make boots right here in the USA, in Nakona, Texas. And in fact, they even have people working for them who used to work at the Nakona Boot Factory right there in Nakona, Texas. So there's lots of history there, and I'm so pumped to get into this, but we gotta start with the rundown. All right, here we go. This is their Black Victoria Rough Out, and it features that black rough out on the foot and the counter. Just a beautiful leather, very, very supple. So this is going to be a pleasure to break in. I'm looking forward to it. It also features their cutter toe, which is a narrow square style of toe shape. They also call it their zero toe. And as you can see around that, we have a single stitched welt with black stitching, which is very nice to see. You know, I'm not a super huge fan of mixing natural welts with black boots, but that black stitching around the welt really ties it in very, very well. This boot also comes in at 13 inches tall with some beautiful cream piping along the side seam. For a heel, we have a one and five eighths inch stacked leather heel. It looks great. Inside, we have a leather heel counter, which is very traditional. For an outsole, we have their Ranch Tough rubber outsole, which is gonna give you a lot more durability than a leather outsole. There's not a lot of tread here, so if you still wanted to use it for riding, you could. That rubber outsole does make the boot just slightly heavier than what it would be with a leather outsole. On the inside, we have a cowhide leather lining, which is super soft. You gotta love it. And for an insole, we have a non-removable foam and leather insole. So it's a layer of foam topped with a layer of leather. It's gonna be nice and comfy, but give you some cushion at the same time. As I mentioned, these boots are made in the USA in Nakona, Texas. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Fenolio black rough outs on right now, and they feel incredible. I'm really liking that insole. The rough out is nice and supple. It's gonna make it so it's gonna be great to break in. Uh, it looks great too. Like I said, I'm not usually a fan of natural welts and heels with black leather, but because of that black welt stitching here, I feel like it works really well. It looks great. Uh, the lack of a bug and wrinkle here is awesome too. One thing that I noticed that's different with Fenolio is the sizing. A lot of times when I'm wearing a narrow square toe or a cutter toe, I'll have to size down about a half a size. I couldn't do that with Fenolio, so this is a true 12B, and it fits perfectly around the widest part of my foot. It's going to be a joy to wear. All right, here's the POV. I love the color of this. Black rough out is such a good look, and the cutter toe works really well, too. It's growing in popularity. If you guys saw that video that I put out at the beginning of the year, I noticed that a lot more people are getting interested in this toe shape, and you can see why. It looks spectacular. All right, now it's time to put these to work at some U.S. companies. It's extended test time. 
It was time to celebrate American businesses with a little hard work, so I headed to Twisted Wheel Fabrication to help them build a sign for Bricks, an American company which makes software to help first responders arrive even quicker to emergencies. But first we needed to get some more gas for the welder, and these tanks can be heavy. Soon it was back to the shop with the new gas tank and today it would be my job to prepare the aluminum letters for welding by sending off what I learned was called dross created by the plasma cutter along the edges of the aluminum letters. Soon I was getting a nice buildup of aluminum dust which was getting caught in the rough out. After finishing up all the letters, I had to take these outside just to see them sparkle in the sun. But I still cleaned them up with the air compressor. Look at that, and then I had to clean up everything else as we prepared for installing the sign at the Bricks headquarters, which was only a few weeks later in downtown Rochester, New York. After scoping it out quickly, we began work on taking down the hideous globe-like structure that was already there. It did give me a good opportunity to do my best Atlas impression though. As we lifted it off the base, we also invented a new dance called the Globe Carry Shuffle. Keep a lookout for it trending on TikTok soon. Now get that ugly thing out of here. In the globe's place atop the pedestal was this simple cover. And hey, this thing looks better already. Okay, okay, enough picking on the globe thing. Now it's time to install the sign. Before we go on, we have to make sure it's level and prepare the stainless steel hardware. And finally, it's time to attach the beautiful aluminum letters. Shiner up and look at that. This was a great experience and I love it when American companies work together and help each other grow. If you'd like to see more from this project, be sure to follow Twisted Willow Fabrication and Bricks on their Facebook pages. I got links in the description. Now it's on to my final thoughts for this Finolio Black Victoria Rough Out Boot. This Rough Out leather is awesome. I seriously love Rough Out, especially when it's this kind of quality. It's actually just the Rough Out, so it's not suede or anything, like there's nothing split here. This is Rough Out through and through, and it wears so well. It breaks in awesome, and it's very durable too. You don't need to treat or condition rough outs as much as you know the smooth leathers. My godfather, he used to train horses and he would love rough out boots. He told me once that all you really needed to do was take a wire brush to a pair of rough outs and you could basically go to a wedding in them no matter how dirty they were. <laughs> so I would recommend maybe using a plastic bristle brush instead of a wire brush, but still 
the idea is the same. Rough Out is amazing. There's not very much traction when compared to other rubber soles out there. Like this doesn't have even as much traction as a V-bar does. Like if I can reach it, oh no, it's gonna fall. Like this kind of V-bar here, this definitely does not even have as much traction as this. So it's a little bit more slippy when it comes down to it, but it's a working cowboy boot and it needs to be. So for those of you who ride a lot and are concerned about maybe going with a rubber outsole, this one seems to be made for you. Another thing that I absolutely love about this boot is that the top is proportional to the boot size. So it is pretty narrow when it's compared to other boots like made in Mexico or made in China, but it's a 12B, so it should be narrow. And I have seen some reviews from folks out there and people have messaged me or commented on the content that I've already posted about these that, uh, you know, sometimes caps might have a tough time in Finolio boots, but if you aren't really filling out the tops of boots a lot anyways, Finolio makes them proportional to the boot size. Speaking of the boot size, this is a B width. Yes, guys, you know how much I harp on some of these companies for only offering two widths. Finolio offers at least five from A to the E's. So it's nuts that they are still offering that many widths, but they are operated out of Nakona, Texas. And they do have some folks that used to work at the Nakona boot factory. So that's right in line with what Nakona used to do by offering so many different widths. I'm glad that Finolio is carrying on that tradition right in Nakona, Texas. The leather heel counter feels a bit more thin than what other brands in the US might be doing. Like this BNV right here, this is made in El Paso, Texas, and they'll use a similar thickness of a, what you get here at the leather outsole as a leather heel counter. So it definitely is much more thick than what you're getting from Finolio here. So um, I kind of am concerned about it. With it being a little bit more thin, it might sort of uh, sag or, you know, tilt to one side or the other, depending on what you're doing. Most of you won't have a problem with it, but there still is the possibility of something like that happening. Still, it's not as possible as what you would get with a plastic heel counter or some composite heel counter, um, which are definitely going to be in the... Chinese made boots and several of the Mexican made boots as well. So I still like the fact that this is a leather heel counter. I just feel like it's a little bit thin. Also, I would have liked to see a little bit more skiving here where the welt meets the heel rand. Uh, they did it pretty well in other areas. I guess it's just this one section right here uh, where it kind of sticks up a little bit more than what I would like, but that's getting nitpicky. This is an awesome boot. I think it's great for an American made option in the $300 budget range. And with Tacovas increasing their price now, this is a competitor in that same budget area for you folks out there. And if you were looking for a Tacovas alternative that's actually made in the USA that has more choices for styles, like you can even special order Finolios from some retailers and tell them exactly what you want. The color of leather, the toe shape, how tall you want it, the outsole, everything. You could, you could literally say everything. So it's a serious contender for those of you out there looking at Tacovas but want a more US made option. Finolio is where it's at. I love it. It is so comfortable, so durable, and I'm looking forward to wearing this one for Geez, the foreseeable future. It is a joy to wear. Thank you so much for everybody watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanna know what you think of these Finolios down in the comments and do you have some yourself? I wanna know your, your experience down there as well for folks coming through. I'll see you guys around. Peace. Whoa, Finolio, a better boot than you might know. Plus it's made in the US and that's for sure. to check out this other extended test video up here or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time yeah peace have a good one